In this tutorial we're going to cover how to view multiple worksheets and workbook windows simultaneously, how to split worksheets, comparing workbooks side by side, and freezing panes. How to view multiple Excel worksheets at the same time. There may be times working in Excel where you prefer to view multiple worksheets at the same time. This would be especially useful in circumstances where cells in one worksheet have formulas that refer to cells in another worksheet. You may want to see the changes without having to switch back and forth from sheet to sheet. To view multiple worksheets within the same workbook, follow these steps. Step 1. Click the View tab. Step 2. In the Window group, click New Window. It may look as if there is only one window because a new window is automatically maximized, but if you look in the title bar, the file name will have a number assigned to it. Step 3. Now in the Window group, click Arrange All and the Arrange Windows dialog box will appear. Step 4. In the Arrange Windows dialog box, select the format that you prefer to arrange your windows from the Arrange group and check the box next to where it says Windows of Active Workbook. If this box is not checked, then the command will automatically assume you want to arrange all workbooks. Step 5. Now in one of the windows, activate the two worksheets you want to make simultaneously visible. Even though it looks as if you have two different workbooks open, this is not the case. The changes you make in one window will affect the other window, and if you save changes in one window, it will save changes in the other window. In a workbook, you can open as many windows as you find necessary, and changes made in one window will take effect in all open windows of the workbook. You can open and close windows as you feel necessary. How to compare worksheets using the side-by-side -side command. You can also view worksheets side-by-side. -side. This may be useful when wanting to compare an updated worksheet with the old version. To do this, open both worksheets and then in the original worksheet, click the View Side-by-Side -side command, which is located in the Windows group in the View tab. By default, both workbooks will scroll simultaneously, which is useful when comparing. However, if you want to deactivate this feature, just click the synchronous scrolling button located directly under the View Side-by-Side -side button in the ribbon. You can maximize one of the worksheets if needed and click the Reset Window Position button when you want to go back to viewing both workbooks simultaneously. Splitting Excel Worksheets Suppose you had a worksheet that contained a large range of data that you couldn't fit on your screen. If you wanted to view different parts of the worksheet, you could use the split command, which is located in the view ribbon in the Windows group. This command will separate your worksheet into different sections so you can scroll each section to the areas you want to make visible. You can use your mouse to drag and resize the individual panes. By using this command, you can edit different parts of the worksheet without having to scroll through the worksheet. How to freeze panes in Excel. In Excel, you can also freeze the top row or the first column. This is useful when you want to keep titles and categories viewable while scrolling through the worksheet. The freeze panes command is located in the window group and the view ribbon. There's a drop down menu that gives you the options to unfreeze panes, freeze top row, or to freeze the first column. 